Uh, so what's up guys this is your boy nick from 3d animation guru and i'm back here with another tutorial and this is story i just want to how to export any character to unreal engine without retargeting it and you can also export this character with animation so i'm just going to show this one you see the software that i call the character creator 3 but i'm just going also to use icon to do some um, animation you can just use this software but I would advise you to take this character first to Icron and make this character the way you want to see them. And then now uh, you I can just show you how you can export this character to uh the Unreal Engine. So I have this game character that I was using to show you how you can make a game character. And this is the character that now we are going to export to uh the Unreal Engine uh without retargeting. So what you just do is that let me just first of this Unreal Engine. And before you do anything, you just need first of all to go to the plugins. Just click setting, go to the plugin. And you need to, to check whether you have the character creator, uh, character creator and icon auto setup because this one is a very good thing that help you to be able to import an FPX character so easy and you don't need to do anything. You can also, if you have the uh, icon library, you can also enable this one. And when those two they are enabled, how you just need to do it that you have to uh, first of all go to the icon. This is the icon, like I have this character here. Uh, which they have some stupid motion in this character is calling, and this is a game character. So I don't think this is the kind of character in just doing the telephoning or whatever. So uh, let's just go back and let's see, let's see where this motion at. Maybe somewhere there. I just like to put this one where it adds. And then uh, what we just need is that I told you, you can just go here to the plugin, go to um, uh, character creator and icon auto setup, go to the browser. Uh, you When you click it, it will open this one here. It's called Unreal Agent. So just double click it again. And then you have the option for the auto setup for Unreal Agent 4.23. Make sure you choose the correct one. Because if you choose the uh, long one, it will not work. So then, like for me, I am using the Unreal Engine uh, 4.25. That's what I have on my computer. Then you just need to come like, I just have to come here to auto setup. I copy those two here, or you can just read first. You can just read this one here to just uh, try to direct you how you can. Uh, copy this one and then you just use it on the Unreal Engine. But the easiest way, just click this, the two of them, just come here and do the copying. And when you're done copying, you can just scroll that to one, then go back. Oh God. Oh, hope I did not close. Okay. Okay, then come here to where, like my folder, I saved them here on Studio One. And when I open the Studio One, like if you see, the project name is Unreal Engine, no, and then we have this one, we have the Unreal Engine tutorial, then just click, and then you can just save them, the two of them here. Just come here, uh, click and paste, and then when it is pasted, then just restart your uh, Unreal Engine, and now you have something like this one. If it doesn't come here, just know that you did something wrong. I've did a video to show you how to install these plugins, you can check on my video. On my YouTube channel, I've shown you how to install plugins on Unreal Engine. So now when you're done, now what you just want is to import this character. Before you import this character, we need just first of all to export. So we just brought this character from the character creator. He made it here on the character creator. This is where we made our character. We just came, we came here and they say that we want to export it. We click the export to the icon. And now we have this character to the to the icon now here. So what we do is that we just need to come here, export again, FPX, and then you have to choose this one, export for Unreal Engine. Then you can just leave it at 24 frames for the frames. And then I just like to, no, don't click current, just say ledge. Ledge, you mean that you have to export from this point to this one here. That's why I showed you where, this is where my animation adds. If you just click the current frame, you're not going to export the animation. So either you click all or you click the rate. Don't forget that one because that's, those are things that people make so many mistakes. 
the less you can just leave them the same way they are so now just click export and then you can just call this one the game game uh, for uh, a little agent for that's why i like to abbreviate it and then click save it's just going to ask character create an auto setup uh can can process a uh, automatic shader assign animation retargeting the model yeah just say okay i don't need to read all those things and when you just click okay just give it some minutes or some second it's not going to take long And then it's now exported. Now I'll come to your a little agent. What I'd like to do, I go to the content because I like to keep my folder everything uh allegedly. So I just need to come here and create a new folder. I just call it uh icron or I can just call it fpx character. Uh fpx character. And then click enter and then this one here open i can say import here or i can just come here on the file i go to the import into level so those things so you can just what you just do is just come click import here go to the desktop where you save your color like for me i save them on my 3d exchange and then check for this character the one that you save that was the um, game it was game character game uh, this one here you see it's an fpx click import this one is just as you started shader low uh low uh, low whatever uh low uh, or high i just click this one here hq hq shader that's high quality and so then click okay And now it opened for you this one. Here now you have to do some changes. First of all, you can, let me see what is here. So what you do here, I just click this one here and also this one. There's two of them. So I have to make those on the other four of them. Then I have to go to the animation. On the animation, I just click animation and then exported time. What you exported from the icon, you have to click it. If you don't click it, you're not getting any animation on your, um, on your Unreal uh, Agent. Then you just need to come here and check for nothing. And what you just need to come and now say is now say import all. This may take uh, almost three to four minutes and not to make this video wrong. So let's wait for this video to pop up so that I can show you. Uh, we have to pause the video and then I came back when it's done because we cannot wait for it for just it's not it's just going to take some time to import this character so just give it time and when it's done then it's just going to come back uh, this character upload is uh, almost done i just started here because i want to show you the things like if you see here there are some things that wish they are appearing i'll show you like the this is the texture the shoes the everything the teeth it's just showing you this just takes like uh, some few seconds and i also realized something which i'm just going to show you on a video a separate video because i didn't think about it before i was doing it and this will just make you like to speed up like if you want to import any character to unreal agent so now like you can see now it's like all the textures and now we just give it some seconds
So if you want to see how long it will take, I think um, I'm just going to leave this video until it's finished. So that I can be able to show you uh, like how long and the things that you, if you see them, you don't think that there's a problem somewhere. So this is, the, those things, the process, I just need to wait. You don't have to do anything. Just wait when the software just finish what it's doing. It's, what it's just doing now, right now is just uh, trying to modify this character that is can be used on the Unreal Engine. And also try to um, to make the meshes and everything fit for uh, the Unreal Engine. Like, like now you can see now they are doing the auto processing deleting some if there's also another character the same thing is just have to delete it and now is uh, almost done like you can see hermit is just lighting for you everything that is doing it's a very good things like just need to look and wash and then you don't need to start you know those people have been using a little agent they know how hard retargeting a character is especially if you want to add some animation inside the little agent you have to look for the cutter with the same bone structure and it's it's just not easy it's it's, it's um so hard but if with this software it does everything automatic just need to go sleep come back or just make yourself a cup of coffee then come back and check on it and the work would be done So auto processing complete now deleting the assets and i think it's done now look you have your character here it comes always in four fashion the four fashion is one is the physics so if you are not new in a religion you know that yeah there's a physics this this one is the blueprint of the skeleton then we have the animation and animation for the character creator i think the two of them so what we are going to use on our um, so let's wait that is finishing it it is, it is doing the auto saving that's why i like unreal engine because if when if you forgot to do some saving the unreal engine is going to save for you automatic that's this So I'm waiting for this one to finish the auto saving because I cannot do anything if I just press something. Okay, it's everything is saved now. So now you can just drop this character here and look at the quality of this character, guys. So let's first of all try to pray. That one is not going to work. Because this one is not a game. So if you want to spray this animation, let me just show you. I showed you how to make the cinematic. You just need to. I'm not going to repeat every process, but because I've done so many videos, I'll show you how to do this one here. something is missing here so let's just create a new folder let's call this folder cinematic then we call this one mass this one and Oh, this one is the one. This one with the animation. This one here, the base press. And now we can just, just click here, add this character. 
you can also drag this one and put it here that is a shortcut and then you just add the motion and now you see look how it's doing that is now how you import an fpx character to the icon so easy so you don't need to do any don't need to do any retargeting your character is selected for animation